Hello and welcome. We're here today to tell you about some great new young adult fiction and nonfiction. I'm Kathy Williams, a reading specialist at Lake Braddock Middle School. And I'm Annalie Schnebley. I'm a librarian at Hayfield Secondary School. And today I have Doll Bones. Just the cover of that book is creepy. And it really is because there's something inherently odd and scary about antique dolls. <laughs> And this is actually a story of three friends, uh, Zach, Alice, and Poppy, who have spent their entire childhood playing games together. They make very imaginative games with action figures and dolls, and all of these games are kind of ruled over by this very creepy antique doll called the Queen. And things are going pretty great, until one day Zach's dad comes home and decides that Zach is too old to be playing with action figures and throws them all away. Ooh. Yes, he's pretty devastated. And so instead of telling his friends what has happened, he decides that he's just going to say he's too old for this and he's not going to play anymore. And he kind of starts to shut his friends out. And Alice and Poppy don't really understand what's going on. But that's really not the end of it because very uh, soon after that, Poppy starts having these nightmares where this doll has been visiting her in her sleep. Okay, now I'm not only afraid of clowns, but now I'm afraid of dolls as well. Well, and it gets worse because the doll's actually saying that it is made up of the ashes of a young girl who was killed uh, quite a long time ago. This is getting more creepy. It is, and the doll has telling them that if Alice does not bring the doll back to the little girl's grave, she's going to haunt her and her friends forever. So the three of them decide that it's probably a good idea to do what the doll says and take her back to her, uh, her grave. And it's not close by. It would require an overnight bus trip. Um, and these are young teenagers whose parents are not going to let them take the bus at night by themselves. But they do. And as their journey goes forward, really strange things start to happen. Uh, the first night, they make a camp. And when they wake up in the morning, everything is trashed. Everything from their backpack is pulled apart. There's debris everywhere. And they're not sure if it, were, if it was animals or if it's the doll's ghost that has come back. So this is a book to read with the light on during the daytime hours so that you are not creeped out. Absolutely. I made the mistake of finishing the second half of the book starting at 2 o'clock one night when it was dark and no one was home, um, and I could not go back to sleep after that. All right. If you think you can handle doll bones, look into it. That's today's book talk.